Sasikala's husband Natarajan arrested in Chennai on land grab charges. Arrest comes on the same day Sasikala appears in a trial court in Bangalore. Sasikala apparently gives a clean shit to Jay Lalitha while appearing for trial in the disproportionate assets case and she breaks down in court. Tamil Nadu's expert panel takes a recce of the Kurankulam nuclear plant will meet the agitated villagers tomorrow. State Election Commission declares all polling booths in Sankaran Koil sensitive, asks the government not to distribute PVs till the elections are over. PMK Chief Ramadas bats for DMK's Veera Pandi Arumugam says he's fit to take over the DMK leadership ahead of Stalin. Tragedy in Nungambakam as a lover kills girl for rejecting his proposal, accused sent to the Pural prison. Hello and welcome to News Tonight. I'm Paloma Rao. Let's take a look at the national headlines. A dozen school children are missing after their bus falls into the river in North Goa. Bodies of two children found. A rescue mission is on. Mamta shoots off another letter to the Prime Minister complaining about the Faraka Barras, saying 80% of the water goes to Bangladesh. Mamta Banerjee drives home her tip with the centre. She also skips the inauguration of the NSG hub by the Home Minister in Kolkata. The National Investigating Agency's charge sheet against 2611 plotter David Headley is accepted by a Delhi court. A letter is being sent to Morocco to question his wife. Home Minister says the UPA government is happy to work with state governments and does not make distinctions between political parties. Murder case filed but no arrests yet after the crew of an Italian ship shoots dead two Indian fishermen. Kerala Chief Minister Uman Chandi says it's a serious issue. The Election Commission decides to issue a notice to Union Minister Benny Prasad Verma for his recent remarks on a quota for Muslims. Jalalita's former close aide Sasi Kala's estranged husband Natrajan has been arrested in Chennai on land grabbing charges. Natrajan was arrested by Tanjavur police. This in addition to Sasikala's brother, Divakaran, and another relative, Ravanan, who were arrested a few days ago. Natrajan's arrest took place while Shashikala was recording her statement in the disproportionate assets case. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jalalita is accused number one in the case. And coincidentally, as part of the trial in the disproportionate assets case, Shashikala has appeared in a Bangalore court to record her statement. Sasikala is accused number two in the case and it's the first time that she is giving her statement. And while testifying, Shashikala broke down in court. Chief Minister Jalalita is accused of amassing more than 60 crore rupees that's said to be wealth disproportionate to her known sources of income. In her testimony, Shashikala gave a clean shit to Jalalita and she said that she operated the bank account and not the Chief Minister. The four-member expert committee constituted by the Tamil Nadu government visited Kurankulam and held discussions with the district collector. Chaos prevailed as the protesters prevented them from inspecting the plant. The panel, comprising the former Atomic Energy Commission chairman M. R. Srinivasan, Vijay Raghavan and Indian, convened and conducted their first meeting yesterday at Chennai and met the Chief Minister Jalalita and held discussions on their plan of action with her. The recommendations of Muttu Nayagan committee were also discussed in the meet held at the Secretariat today. Following this, the committee is at Nellai to inspect the situation and carry a series of inspections and discussions. The Kudangulam nuclear power plant is approximately 3 kilometers away from where I am standing right now. The four member expert uh, uh, committee appointed by the state government arrived at the Trinal Valley this afternoon. They met the district collectors and discussed the Kudangulam power plant issue at around 5.15 this evening. They entered the Kudangulam nuclear power plant. When the message was spread, in fact, uh, if my camera person could just pan a bit, you can very clear, uh, clearly see the protesters and the villagers. They gathered at, the, at this site and started raising slogans. They say that their opinion should also be considered. Uh, as the message spread, uh, even uh, the senior police officers brought in a lot of policemen, including the striking force. All were posted at this site. However, the villagers did not stop the four-member expert committee from entering into the Kudangulam nuclear power plant and uh, they also uh, say that they will not stop them moving out of the Kudangulam nuclear power plant. All that they want is that they, their opinion should be considered by the expert committee. The Chief Electoral Officer of Tamil Nadu, Praveen Kumar, said that all 242 polling booths in Sankaran Koville are found to be sensitive and will be put on high alert. Praveen Kumar ordered that the state government not distribute freebies such as mixies and grinders and commence any of its new welfare schemes in the constituency where the by-election is announced. 
The model code of conduct has come to effect in the Chutukurin and Nellai districts following the announcement of elections. Ten flying squads have been deployed to inspect the situation and to ensure the free and fair elections in the constituency. All the vehicles entering Sankran Koval are subject to thorough checks. Web cameras are to be installed in all the 242 booths which are found sensitive, he added. Shankaran Koval is facing by-elections on the 18th of March following the death of former minister and the constituency's MLA, Karupasami. Sensitive booth, uh, last time important. I all booth nama connect sensitive by poll. All booths are sensitive. Saying, uh, all booths are sensitive, so we'll be looking at each booth closely. Union Minister for Shipping G. K. Vasan today said that the Congress will soon take a decision on contesting in the ensuing Sankaran Koval by elections. He said this after taking part in the death anniversary of the former Assembly Speaker Chella Pandian held at the Congress State Headquarters today. The President of the Tamil Nadu State Congress Committee, Nyana Desikan, will hold discussions with General Secretary and Congress in charge of Tamil Nadu, Gulam Nabi Azad, and announce whether the party will contest on its own or back the DMK candidate. PMK founder Ramadas said that former Minister Veera Pandi Arumugam is deserving enough to take over the DMK leadership. He also alleged that both the Dravida parties, which have ruled the state so far, have ruined the state. He questioned his talent, the only eligible person for DMK leadership. He added that Veera Pandi Arumugam possesses all the necessary qualifications to take over the DMK leadership. <laughs> Police officials arrested a youngster who stabbed a young girl to death for rejecting his proposal of love. 19-year-old Sangeeta, a resident of Nungambakam, was found dead. Police investigations revealed that Mani, a neighbour whose advances Sangeeta had rejected constantly, had killed her out of frustration. The accused was presented before the court and was sent to the Pural prison. Administering of polio prevention drops for children aged up to five under the Pulse Polio Immunization Drive will be carried out throughout the country tomorrow. Five lakh children in Chennai will be administered with the vaccine tomorrow. The government will launch a statewide campaign from Sunday to eradicate polio. The drops would be administered at railway stations, bus stands and other public places as well. The second phase of the Pulse Polio Drive will take place on the 15th of April. The Health and Family Welfare Department has set up the injections to be provided for the children below the age group of five all over the state. More news coming your way on the national front after a short break. Stay tuned.